Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Planets where Life of Normal C has ended. Alright, you have waited long enough. And we're going to continue where we last stopped. Yeah, it, it was right here. Oops, um, just turning my volume a little bit down. It's kind of loud. Alright. Yeah, we were uh, about to leave uh, for dinner in the city, I think. I'm not sure. We'll continue and uh, we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah. So, yeah, let's continue. And then abru abruptly we land into solid ground. Oh, yeah, we just teleported. Ryu and Lucian on their feet, and me on my behind. Uh. Kazuki san, are you alright? Lucian immediately kneels down and supports me to help me stand up. Oh, he's such a gentleman. <laughs> I'm fine, don't worry. <laughs> You're really bad at that, aren't you? I just have to keep practicing. By the way, where are we? I noticed the surroundings for the first time. They said we were going to a cafe, but there were no buildings in sight. Near the train station, we can teleport directly. Oh, it's Rio. <laughs> God damn it. Near the train station, we can teleport directly into the town. It could give someone a heart attack. Ah, uh, yeah, Riku told me something about that. Uh, Riku, did you teleport us to the right location this time? <laughs> What's this? Uh, you aren't teasing me now, are you? I'm not always that inaccurate. The less energy I waste, the more accurate I am. So, why do you have so much more energy today? You didn't skip your afternoon teleportation class, did you, Ryu? <laughs> it's for me to know only. Oh god, <laughs> Lucian's, Lucian's cold eyes following you, Ryu. I fear your life. Hey, don't give me that disapproving glare, Lucian. My grades have nothing to do with you. <laughs> now let's go before we miss the train. Ryu grabs my hand and pulls me along while Lucian just gives us a sigh and walks behind us. Ryu and Lucian are really best friends, huh? They have such a strange relationship. I know that, oppos uh, that opposites attract, but these guys are completely different in every way. Despite my protests, Lucian paid for my train ticket. I feel especially guilty knowing that they are willing to pay for my dinner too. Oh yeah, I know the feeling. I've never liked the feeling of being a mooch, but they don't seem to mind at all. After a short ride, we arrive in the city limits. It's only been a few days, but I feel so relieved to be off of campus. It's like being free again, without have to, having to worry about rules. Oh, look at that. Such a cute little cafe. We find a seat in the cafe and chat casually as we wait to be waited on. I feel bad for making you guys buy my ta train ticket and now my food. I promise to pay you back as soon as I can. Don't worry, Kazuki son, it was troubling for you. Uh, if it was troubling for us to pay for you, we wouldn't have offered. A few minutes later, the waiter arri arrives to take our orders. Although Lucian said he didn't mind paying for me, I proposedly ordered one of the cheapest items on the menu. Ah, uh, can I have a strawberry cake? For dinner? Huh? Yeah. This guy doesn't need anything but desert. I'm surprised he's still alive. <laughs> it's the only type of food that can satisfy my hunger. Is that really strange? I've heard of a sweet tooth, but never someone who only eats sweets. Whoa. Does he really only eat one? I still eat other things sometimes. <laughs> the only time you eat vegetables is when I feed them to your airplane. To you airplane style. <laughs> eh? That's a lie to you. <laughs> oh, that's right. You prefer when I feed it to you like a train, right? <laughs> Stop saying embarrassing things. <laughs> oh, we're so funny together. <laughs> 
I'm sure many girls would love to have Lucian's met metabolism. So, cause uh, it's, it's real. So, Kazoki-san, did you get used to planets yet? I think so, but there are parts of it that are strange. Like physical education class. I don't know if I can ever get used to that. I was wondering, why did you transfer to planets at such a strange time? Did you go to a different psychic school before this? Oh, that's right, Lucian doesn't know that I wasn't born with my psychic powers. I wonder if it's safe to tell him. <laughs> Don't you know, Lucian? This girl wasn't psychic till recently. She hit her head and boom, she was psychic. Huh? But that's... Ryukun, I don't know if I should... If you should tell many people about that. It's safe to say Lu It's safe to tell Lucian. He's not gonna spread any nasty rumors about you. But isn't that impossible? Obviously not. We got living proof right there. I don't understand it either. It happened after I had the concussion. My telepathy teacher told me that I'm not as an in tune with my powers as the other telepaths. The thought of other people don't sound as loud to me, so it's harder to control. Okinuma-sensei even said my power might disappear someday. So it's possible that I'm just here temporarily. Wah. But, but Kazuki-san, that means... Lucian. Oh, what is it? What is this tension? Oh man, I'm kinda afraid right now. I just played Corpse Party recently. Ryu and Lucian both look at me uncomfortably. What? Uh, Kazuki-san, if your power is to go away, then there is a chance that... Since you already have learned so much about psychic abilities that regular humans aren't supposed to know. Lucian, don't say it! Lucian ignores Ryu's outburst and keeps talking. They may erase your memory. What? It doesn't register to me what Lucian just said. Such a thing can't really happen, can it? Oh, we heard about it from Chaos before, I think. I don't like the thought either. Wait, uh, wait a second. I can understand Erase, but... What exactly and better how much? It's a joke, right? It isn't a joke. It's okay to know a few things about psychic abilities, but it isn't safe for non-psychic people to know the deepest parts of it. There is a fear that non-psychics will exploit our powers. If that happens, then there is a good chance that we could become enslaved and our powers could be used for governmental operations or something terrible like that. The government biggest fears that someone stronger than them exists. To them, we will be a threat. I am afraid that if you lose your power and go back to regular school, you may find it necessary to raise your memory of planets. What? But even if that were to happen, if I lose my power... If I lost my power, I wouldn't go running home and tell everyone all about psychics and planets. We can't believe you because we know that you're a good person, Kazuki-san. But the administrators here may think otherwise and find it necessary to erase your memories. No way. An uncomfortable and fearful silence passes between us. Does it mean I will lose every memory of these people, of these guys? Like nothing ever happened, so at this point... <laughs> wow, this is horrible. Like it would be like I never met them before, I never experienced this. Just some time of my life will be erased. Like just a gap in my existence. That's... Kind of mind boiling, <laughs> thinking about it. Like, if you think back, then it if your memories are erased, and you think back and will think, what did I do in this 
in these months? What was I doing? It's pretty scary to think about. You know you spend time, but you don't know how and where and with whom. This is just insane. <laughs> well, that's enough about that. Look at that time it is. We need to go back. Please stand from the table. The motions are for us to follow. Hey now, get those sad looks off your faces. Whatever happens, happens. But for now, shouldn't we try and make the best memories we can? Ocean sighs and stands up as well, forcing a smile onto his face. Ryu is right, there's no point worrying about the future we can we, that we can't control. Come on, Kazuoki-san! I slowly follow after Lucian and Ryu, feeling nauseous. It's possible that if I lose my powers, my memory will be erased. Just thinking about that makes my head hurt. It's horrifying thought to know that people, at least at my very school, have the ability to take my memories away. From me. Looking at it from a psychic's perspective, I can't understand why they're fearful of regular people finding out about their powers. Just imagine how useful a telepath like myself or a teleporter like Ryu or even someone with telekinesis could be to the government. We wouldn't be treated as humans by the government, but as tools. And that's why Planets exist, to teach us how to control our power so that we don't accidentally expose ourselves. The more I think about it, the more scared I become. I shiver both from the chilly breeze and my nerves. Hey, why are you so quiet, Kazuki-san? Ryu grabs onto the corner of my shirt and pulls me closer to him. Look what you did, Lucian! I told you not to tell her. But it's necessary for her to know the truth. You can't hide things from people just so you won't hurt their feelings. That's a really good point. And it's interesting that it's come that this is coming from Lucian. This shows what resp what responsibility he's holding. Like he uh, he wants to show. Like he is showing his res responsibility to tell the people that have a right to know what will happen. You know, it's just his way of thinking, and it's interesting. And that Ryu doesn't want to hurt us, I can understand that he is always happy and I think he fears most to make someone unhappy, like sad. I'm not sure why, I, I, this is my theory, but this is something, this is something that I speculate about. Maybe we'll learn about that later on. Really, I'm fine, I was just thinking about some things. Liar, you won't be able to sleep tonight, will you? If you can't, you can come to our room and cuddle with me. <laughs> I've got plenty of room in my bed. <laughs> oh god, Ryu. You're so cool. Such a sneaky little guy he is. But it always cheers people up, I can already see that. Honestly, Ryu, please think before you speak. <laughs> eh? Suddenly spot a familiar figure in the distance. It's become dark outside, so it's hard to see, but that definitely looks like... Hey, Kay! Uh-oh, I don't think this is going to be good. Oh no, oh no, it's... Oh no, we're together again. But what is he doing here? I'm curious either. I want to know. Let's see. The music is already tense. Oh man. <laughs> okay, let's continue. What are you? Chaos stares at the three of us. What a coincidence to see you here. What are you three doing together? Ah, uh, uh, you aren't jealous, are you, Chaos? What is there to be jealous of? <laughs> oh, three friends hanging out while you wander around alone. What are you doing here anyway? Shouldn't you be at home studying like a good boy? Ryu, please don't provoke him. Eh, I'm not starting a fight. I was just asking him a question. 
Ocean sighs at his, at his familiar scene and exchanged an exhausted glance with me. Well, this is a point that I really don't understand about Theo. Why is he always nagging on Chaos? Why doesn't? Why can't you just leave him alone? And if he's so bad for Chaos, I mean, look, he's really alo all alone with no one. Damn it! <laughs> if he's so bad for Chaos. There is a shopping bag in Chaos' hand, so he is probably here to run some kind of errand. Chaos ignores Ryu and turns to me. Why are you hanging out with these guys, Kazuki-san? Chaos speaks to me unexpectedly, catching me off guard. Oh! Is he really wondering why I'm not maybe spending time with him? Oh, it makes me kind of guilty. I feel so bad about myself. I'm sorry, Chaos, I didn't know you wanted my attention. Did you say Kazuoki? Oh yeah, she said only. I said Kazuoki-san. <laughs> because I already was kind of uh, um, used to it, but she said only Kazuoki. Don't be so disrespectful. You steps closer to Chaos, causing both Lucian and I to tense up. You think you can say whatever you want and there will be no consequence, don't you? And people are friends, they hang out with each other. Wait, how would you know that? You don't have a friend to speak of, do you? The tension between them seems to be mounting and Kill Scholar becomes hard. It's my choice not to have friends. To not have friends. I don't depend on our people, unlike you, always striving to be the center of attention. Striving? People naturally surround me, it takes no effort from me. Why don't you just shut the hell up for once? Kill's hand forms a fist. If someone doesn't stop him, they're going to start a physical fight. Both of you stop it. Ignore me, of course. It only worked this one time, I think. And now, god damn it. Ignore me, both getting closer to one another until they're only a few centimeters apart. Oh god. I think it's about time someone put you in your place. You think that just because your father is the principal and that you're more advanced than everyone else, you're superior. But the truth is, everyone at Planet hates you. Ryu-kun, don't say that. This is horrible. No, Ryu. Don't turn like that on me. Chaos doesn't deserve these words. Oh my god. This has gone too far. Yeah, I agree. So, you really know better than scum. Oh god. I really, I'm, I really also make him sound more like evil. Because it's just really... So Look at the sentence. How can you say it in any other kinder way oh my god and he's all alone like it seems like we're on the real side and chaos is all alone oh man don't do this go to hell chaos lungs he grabs onto Ryu's shirt with both hands and shove him into the wall of the nearest building oh god no don't do this to me man are you going to kill me chaos won't even worth the effort. I think you're just a coward, that's all. Kills grips tightens around uh, on Shiryu's shirt. Don't test me, Takashima. <laughs> oh god. Why? It's not like you're gonna do anything. You're too afraid as usual. I said stop it, both of you. I grab onto Kills' arm. Let go of him. Kazuki. Don't get involved in this. <laughs> How can you tell me that if you do things like this? Guys, we're on a public place. You don't start a fight to kill each other. I already get in got involved. Chaos gives one more color to Ryo before releasing him. <sighs> Ryo kun, Chaos kun didn't say anything to provoke. <laughs> oh, I wait, she she's talking to Ryo. Ryukun, Chaos Kun didn't say anything to provoke you, so there's no need to say those things about him. That's true, why are you insulting him like that? Eh? You're defending this guy, really? Ryukun messes at me. 
Kazuki-san, maybe you think I'm a bad guy in the situation, but you don't know the truth about chaos. Um, what truth? If you did, I doubt you would be so quick to defend him. It doesn't matter, for now chaos -kun didn't say anything wrong, so don't pick a fight with him. No fun, I got scolded by Kazuki-san. Fine, I'll leave this loser alone for now. Let's go, Kazuki-san. I'm going to stay here. You two can go on. What? Why? Are you sure, Kazuki-san? I'm sure that Ryu doesn't cause any more fights, if you're worried about that. That's not it. For now, I stay here with Kiosken. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow in class. Huh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I have so many feelings right now. I am not sure what to think anymore. Meh. Alright, let's see where this is going. <laughs> so he's silent. Uh, sorry about that, chaos -kun. I don't know what kind of grudge you two hold. So maybe... It isn't my place to get involved, but... In that situation, you didn't deserve that kind of treatment, so... Chaos looks at me with uh, irritation. He must still be angry at the whole situation and doesn't want to speak. I wonder what I should say to him. God damn it! What should I say to him? Uh, 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 Ryu was at fault. You shouldn't be so violent, or I wish you two would stop fighting. I wonder how much this choice is going to depend, like on the ending. I'm not sure, but I think every choice kind of will influence the ending. But to tell the truth in this situation, I kind of think Ryu was at fault, but I don't know the cause, why he was so aggressive towards him. So, let's just go with I wish you two would stop fighting, because they have their reasons, but it's no reason to fight. At least exchange it with words, with talking, but not with your fists. I'll see what he will say to this. God damn it. <laughs> I really don't know what to think about him. I wish you two would stop fighting. Should have gone with him. He just interrupts me with a harsh tone. Are your friends? I'm not. He turns and starts to walk away in the direction of a train station, but I persistently, persistently follow. You're my friend too! <laughs> Don't consider me a friend. The feeling will never be mutual. Can't you even thank me for defending you, Kioskun? I wouldn't have done that if I didn't consider you as my friend too. Kyo stops walking just long enough to speak more cold words. Get away from me. <laughs> but why? I'm here for you. Why can't you see that? I said get away. Whoa. Whoa, man. Why? The race, raising of his voice catches me off guard and it feels as if ice has dropped into my stomach. Kills Kun, why? No one can get close to me. That includes you. For your own good, stay away. For my own good? I thought this was about you not wanting friends. Don't you get it? Takashima is right in what he said. If you knew the truth, you wouldn't be trying so hard to get close to me. I... I don't understand. You don't need to. I give a defeated smile. I should give up. There's no point anymore. Then, how am I supposed to get back to school? That's your own problem. You shouldn't have followed me. Chaos turns again and disappears, leaving me alone in this dark, unfamiliar town. I can feel something wet on my cheek. Tears. I can't believe it. 
I rarely cry, but in this situation I feel more rejected than ever before. What a... what a guy, man. Oh god, no, don't say that. How am I supposed to get back? What do I do? Didn't think we'd leave you with that guy, did you? Huh? I jump into the sound of a voice and see Ryu and Lucian appear from behind the building. Oh, they followed us. <laughs> God damn it. You could rescue him from a burning building and he wouldn't thank you. There was no chance I'd leave you with a guy like that. They're so adorable, these two. It's true, Kazuki-san. It's impossible to get close to Chaos. He'll only hurt you. Ugh, are those tears? <laughs> oh, look at Ryu, <laughs> he's so flustered. Ryu looks at my face close and sees the tears on my cheeks. God damn it. Lucian, he made her cry. I can't forgive that bastard for this. C come on, tell her a joke or something and cheer up. <laughs> this tells Ryu to Lucian. <laughs> Me? Ryu, you the one who's going good with jokes. Should I tickle her? <laughs> oh my god, these guys. I don't know, should I cry? Should I laugh? Kazuki-san, I bought you a stuffed animal. Oh, oh wait. Ryu attempts to make a silly looking face. <laughs> you guys are really... Ah, that's better. Your face looks much cuter when you're smiling. I'm fine, don't worry. Are you sure? Even though you're smiling, your eyes are still glistening. Hey, don't spewing, spewing that romantic stuff. <laughs> R romantic? I, I didn't mean it like that. Oh god. All oh, these guys, I really, really like them all. They're so cute. <laughs> Just listening to them cheers me up instantly and I forget all about chaos. But even though I can laugh freely now, the thought that I may completely lose my memory of these moments terrifies me back into silence. I really wish that Lucian, what Lucian hasn't, hadn't told me that, but I guess that ignoring the truth won't make it go away. My thoughts are consumed by this as Lucian and Trio walk me back to the dorms. Kazuki-san, I can see that you're thinking very deeply about what I told you in the cafe. Ah, oh, well, here's a good intuition. But don't worry about it too much. If anything happens to you, Ryu and I will do our best to protect you and your memories. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See ya, Kazuki-san. They're so cute. There were the two of them... Wave goodbye once we've reached the girls' dormitory. I watch their lively retreating figures as they disappear in the direction of a boys' dorm. <sighs> I didn't anticipate so much to happen tonight. My mind is overloaded with many different confusing thoughts. Mine too. I was like, first of all, first of all, I was like, Ryo, what are you doing? And then Chaos is like completely, like a completely bastard towards us and I'm like oh god and I wanted I really felt myself getting so sad when he said these cruel things about us because I didn't expect him to do that so like so bluntly like get away from me and stuff and in the end oh I feel bad I, f I really like Ryo I take everything back he's so nice and I don't know what's going on with chaos I don't know why I should feel bad about him I'm not sure what to think about him at all this game is so great but no matter what I'm lucky to have made such good friends that's true but this makes the fact that maybe if my powers disappear I'll forget everyone and every single moment God damn it. Marin chan where are you? I thought something horrible happened to you. Ah, Rui, sorry I didn't get back until now. I went to town for dinner. Eh? You went all the way to town? Yeah, I've already gotten a bit tired of the cafeteria food. Does that mean we can't eat together anymore? Of course not. I think tonight was just a special occasion. 
Ah, good. I was worried that you would abandon me. Rui, stop worrying so much about me abandoning you. I promise I won't. <laughs> Sorry for worrying so much. It's just so nice to have a friend, but I'm constantly afraid you'll disappear. Well, don't worry. I'll be here. Hopefully for a long time. Hopefully. <laughs> With that thought in my head, I changed to my pajamas and drift off to sleep. Friday, July 15. Mm. What? A steady sound whispers into my subconscious, gentle and familiar like a lullaby. Rain. The sound has never failed to put me back to sleep, no matter what hour of the day it falls. Oh, oh, it, it, I was like, what is this sound? And it, outside of my, of my window, it's raining too. So I was kind of like, what is this sound? <laughs> I sit up on bed and peer out of a window. Sure enough, rain falls softly onto the school grounds, and the sky is tinged grey. Ah, that relaxing and sound makes me want to go back to sleep. Seems like I woke up before the alarm clock again. Rick was still sleeping in her own bed. I'm already awake, so I might as well start off in the right foot and get up early and grab breakfast. I take care of my morning routines and pop my head out of the dormitory to the outside. Oh, look at the training. Jeez, it's really raining hard. If I step out, I get soaked and there doesn't appear to be any umbrellas around. I guess I'm gonna have to wing it. Holding my school bag over my head, I dart from the dormitory across the courtyard. Oh, that's, that's not a good idea. But if you're fast enough, maybe. My bag hardly prevents the rain from quickly, so quickly soaking my uniform and hair. But the pathway is like from rain and I lose my footing and la landing roughly on the ba my backside. My back is flung across the courtyard with papers and sides exposed to the rain and instantly becoming wet. So much for starting off on the right foot. God damn it, as I struggle to get on my feet, the rain above me suddenly stops. It falls around me but not onto me. I look up in confusion. What? And see the interior of an umbrella. Oh! Kazoki-san, you're going to catch a cold. Who is it? A person holding the umbrella there. Solution. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just slipped. You're already wet, but you can sh share my umbrella if you want. With his other free hand, he helps me to stand. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I stay underneath his umbrella to keep from getting any more soaked. The umbrella isn't very large for both of us to fit. Our shoulders have to be touching. <laughs> His body is dry unlike mine and I instantly feel warm being so close to him. Thank you, Lushin Kun. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm always happy to help. By the way, I thought you're not a morning person. It's not even 7am yet. The thunder woke me up, so I decided to go ahead and head to the cafeteria. Holy crap! I will never wake up so early and go outside. Even though it's raining? I like the rain, it's relaxing. But my bag... I point to my bag that's open on the ground, getting soaked in the rain. Oh no, that's terrible. I bent down and picked it up, looking through all of my papers. Everything inside got wet. My homework is ruined too. You can copy my notebook before classes start if you want. Is that really okay? Of course, Ryo copies my homework all the time. I'm used to it. <laughs> God damn it, Ryo. Come on, let's get out of the rain so we don't both get sick. Sounds like a plan. Gather my wet belongings and walk beside Lucian into the warm school building. Still a bit cramped under his umbrella. Although I can't say being this close in proximity to him is a bad thing. <laughs> oh, wink wink. <laughs> cough cough. Well, once inside, Lucian folds up, his folds up his umbrella and begins walking in the direction of the lockers. Come with me, Kazuki-san. I need to put this away. Alright, I should change shoes anyway. 
I follow Lucian to his locker, where he puts the sweat shoes and umbrella away. As if I find my own locker, Lucian calls to me from the other side of the room. Stay there, I'll be right back. Huh? Alright. What is he planning? Okay. After changing shoes, I wait patiently for Lucian as he instructed. I wonder what he's doing. Um, okay. At that moment, I feel something soft on my head and I look up. Ah. Lucian applies a soft towel to my hair and wraps it gently. Oh, it's so cute! Your hair is so long, it will take a while to dry if you don't towel it off. His gesture his, his gesture catches me off guard and I can only stand there blushing madly as Lucian holds the towel over my head. My God, this is so cute. <laughs> this game is so cute. It's getting only better and better. You don't have to do this for me, Lushikun. It's okay, if you don't dry off properly, you might get sick. I'd feel it like it was my fault if I let that happen, so I'll take responsibility. You shouldn't worry, I'll be fine. Lucian removes the towel from my hair and strokes it gently with his hand. Oh god, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry, it was sticking up a little bit. Lucian opens his back and pulls out a brush. It surprises me at first, but when I remember Lucian's hair is pretty long too, and it always looks so nice, of course. No, there's nothing wrong with guys having long hair, it's also very attractive depending on which kind of person you are. Of course, he takes good care of it. Lucian takes my hair into his fingers and brushes it until it's smooth. <laughs> to keep myself from blubbering incoherently, I keep silent, feeling my face get more and more red. Oh my god, I think my head will explode at this point. <laughs> okay, it looks good now. Thank you. Shall we go to the cafeteria so you can copy my notes? Oh, yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Are you okay, Kazuki-san? Your face is red. Get, get it, oh man, I hit my <laughs> head phone. <laughs> He's so blunt and... Uh, He's so blunt about his own actions towards me. And then he acts so like you know I can't I can't figure out a word for it now. What's the word for it? Um I can't I I can't find out a word for it now, maybe later on, but he uh, when he starts to f he acts completely different from the way he thinks. When if something like my face is red happens, he just says, "Are you okay?" You know. Ugh. I don't know how you call that, but you just don't get it. Like you don't get what's happening right now, Lucian. <laughs> but you initiated it on your own. <laughs> that's that's just hilarious. <laughs> you don't feel sick, do you? No, I'm fine. I put my hand over my cheek so Lucian can see my blushing. Let's go before we run out of time. Fast, please. Inside the cafeteria, of the cafeteria, it's still so early, but we are the only two students here. Oh. That ain't romantic. Alright. <laughs> Focus. The counter isn't even serving breakfast yet, so we both... Buy snacks from the vending machine to tide us over. My clothes quickly dry from the air in the building, and I begin to copy Lucian's notebook into some dry paper that he lended to me. Lucian's hand handwriting is so organized and neat that I'm able to copy it without any problem at all. Kazuki-san, Lucian speaks to me suddenly, interrupting with peaceful silence. <laughs> yeah. Did you notice that your skirt has a hole in it? Oh, what? What? A hole? I look down at my skirt and notice that there is a large hole in the hem of my skirt. I must have gotten it when I slipped on the ground earlier. It's really noticeable too. Wow, that's embarrassing. Don't look. <laughs> it's alright, I can fix it. 
<clears throat> oh man, his voice kind of hurts my throat after a while. You can? How? Like this. Lucian reaches into his school bag and retrieves a small box. He pulls off the lid, and inside are a needle, thread, and scissors. A sewing kit? Yeah, I take it with me everywhere, just for incidents like these. What? <laughs> I can't believe this. What kind of incidents do you mean? I laugh without being able to stop myself. Lucian is like the ultimate housewife. <laughs> Whereas I'm just useless. You're taking such good care of me, Lucian Kun. It makes me feel like a little kid. You probably think I'm pathetic. Eh? No, it's not like that at all. I'm not trying to make you feel like a kid. I just can't help it. I like to take care of other people. It's something I'm good at. But if it bothers you, then... No, it's okay. As long as you're not doing this because you feel sorry for me. That's not why. Lucian leans down and lifts a part of my skirt that has the hole, and after threading the needle, starts to sew it back together. I'm doing this because I just want you to be happy, that's all. Lucian Kuhn, how did you learn to do these things so well? Did, you, did it just begin as a hobby? Um, well... Lucian hesitates, looking nervous for some reason. <laughs> Something like that? Come on, you can trust me. To be honest, I never really had a choice. Uh, what do you mean by that? I have four younger sisters that I have to take care of. Holy moly, four younger sisters! I wouldn't even survive a day. Not even as, not even an hour. I can promise you that. They are a lot younger than me. And back when I was living at home, I had to do everything for them. Your parents are very not around? He sighs when seems to decide that it's okay to explain. My parents are responsible. They don't know how to take care of us. Oh. Oh, that's sad. I don't think they hate us. They just never figured out the proper way to take care of kids. So I had to learn how to take care of myself and my sisters. After doing it myself for so long, I just learned naturally. I learned how to cook and clean up prop- Oh man, his voice, man. <laughs> his voice is getting to me. Wait a second. Okay. I learned how to cook and clean properly. And I learned how to sew. <laughs> it's just really hard after some time to make his voice. He has such- I gave him such this uh, really soft voice and it's really hard to make it sound soft and deep at the same time because he's a guy. I usually do it like for girls maybe but he's a gen gentle and sweet guy and this is not really like something you see very often in this visual novels in my opinion. <laughs> I don't really know what it's like to be taken care of, but I know how to take care of others. Lucian Kuhn, I'm sorry. Oh, no one takes care of you. I can do it. Even though I can't take care of myself. <laughs> it's nothing to be sorry for. If that hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't know how to do all of these things I do now. So I try to see it as a good thing. I'm glad you can keep a positive attitude about it. Yes, so there's no reason why you should be sad about Kazuki-san. And besides, I love my siblings very much. I don't mind taking care of them. He's so cute. <laughs> God damn it. He's such a lovely little puppy. Your siblings? Are they psychic too? Yes, they all have the same psych as me. Telekinesis. Holy moly. Needless to say, it's getting a bit, um, very chaotic sometimes. <laughs> Holy shit, four younger siblings and all telekinesis? What is the world that I have been living in the game? It all makes sense now. <laughs> oh man, I can really understand. No, I can't really understand why he can still be like, so... so how he can keep his composure like that, how he's so patient and nice. With this, with this kind of family, you know. <laughs> I can't even imagine. All done. I looked down at my skirt where the hole was and it's been completely closed. 
Wow, you can hardly even tell there was a hole there before. It's just like new. You're amazing, Lucian Kun. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad that I can use everything I've learned to make someone else happy. Such a gentle and sweet and beautiful soul. God damn it. Please don't turn into a creep on me, okay, Lucian? I really don't want you. I had my own traumatizing experience once in the pre in the in the other game, so don't do it to me, okay, Lucian? Just stay the way you are. <laughs> Just as I finish copying Lucian's notes, the room starts to fill up with more students coming in for breakfast. Finish just in time. It seems that class is about to start soon. I usually go to class early. Would you like to come with me, Kazuki-san? Eh? Are you sure it's okay for us to walk together? You don't think people will get the wrong impression, do you? Kazuki-san, can I be honest about something? Sure. I wish you wouldn't worry so much about that. I don't want the options of other people to stop us from having fun together. So please, don't worry. I want to walk with you. <laughs> I can't handle the situation. Too much. Too much. I want to... I want to... Hit my head on the wall multiple times and tell this is still real. I can't breathe normally. <coughs> Getting a heart attack here. Stop it, game. <laughs> okay, let's go. God damn it. I gave her my belongings and followed behind him when we walked to class. Lucian is right. I shouldn't worry so much. <laughs> what others peep what others think. I can't read anymore. Lucian promised he would protect me from anyone who bullied me again, so I should trust him. But it's really great that Lucian is like, he takes responsibility too. He isn't like, go and handle this bullying yourself because your cho it's your choice to hang out with him. No, he's like, I want to hang out with you too, so I'm going to help you. This is a really nice way of looking at the situation. It's really nice that he's acting like this. Even though I think he still has kind of like a scary side to him. A side where he's like very... Uh, very forceful. He can be very forceful and very blunt and honest about things. And yeah, so he has a really a different side either, but this is what every person has. So yeah. It's finally lunchtime, but before the rain before the rain still refuses to let up. The options of where to eat are limited. The courtyard and roof are all completely drenched, leaving me with only a few options, a few choices. <laughs> oh great, I don't even have a choice anymore. Lucian is just like, hey, I won't let you get to, uh, to go to any other guy than me. You know what will happen if you go to any other guy, you know, Kazuki-san? You can't leave me alone now. You chose me and no one else, or we'll turn... Uh, yeah, you know, this is how it sounds to me right now. Where are you going, Kazuki-san? Why are you running away? Why aren't you looking at me? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's getting out of hand with me here. Okay, guys, I think I will end the part right here. <laughs> um, now let's just make it here. Alright. <laughs> so, yeah. Next time we will continue with Lucian Kuhn and we will have lunch with him because we have no other option apparently anymore and I'm really curious to see what's going to happen next. I still think there's something deeper than this, like this experience he had and told us so far. I'm not sure, he's he has something that he's hiding and I want to know what. But right now, and I hope we will find out more about the other guys too, like Ryu and Chaos. Hopefully a little bit. If Lucian lets us, you know. Not that he's holding us like behind. He will hold us in a firm grip and never let us go to any other guy anymore. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. But right now, like I said now, for the third or second time, 
we will end the part right here. And we'll see each other in the next part, guys. Yeah, and until then, see ya!